Yo guys, what's up? It's Warsprint and welcome to my video about 5 tricks you need to know to dominate in Titanfall. The first trick I want to show you is something I like to call the Rodeo Crush. It's probably the easiest guaranteed Titan kill that you can get in Titanfall and the only thing you need to do is be patient with your Titan calling. So what you want to do is Rodeo an enemy Titan, wait until the player gets out, putting the enemy Titan into auto Titan mode so it bends over in a stationary position, jump off, call on your Titan down on top of it, make sure you get that placement right underneath the enemy Titan and then hop back on so the enemy Titan stays in the stationary position and down comes your Titan, boom, guaranteed Titan kill. You can do this any time throughout the match, you usually get multiple Titans per match so that's multiple free rodeo crush kills. Just look out for the opportunities to do it. One time in particular that I really like to do this is if an enemy player has an early Titan in at the start of the match. That usually means he's a good player so I'm definitely going to want to be crushing that Titan with my rodeo crush technique. So free Titan kill and he gets his timer reset so I should be the only Titan out on the battlefield at that point in the game. You might get some players using smoke but what you can do is just wait for the smoke timer to reset and pull off your rodeo crush or what you can do is calling your Titan in amongst the smoke since most players using smoke will stay inside the smoke area until it clears. Again, nailing yourself another Titan kill. The next trick I want to tell you about is something most FPS players should be familiar with and that is strafing, but strafing in Titanfall is so OP. There's so much movement in this game you can pull off some awesome strafing maneuvers. And that's not all, the basic animation for strafing is crazy. If you just look here at the character movement, pilots are sort of in a bent over posture, which means when you hit the point at which you change strafe direction, the entire body of the character almost instantaneously changes position, pretty much resulting in strafing pilots being impossible to hit with burst fire weapons and avoiding a lot of other shots from your average players. Combine this with stim and the running gun kit and keep your momentum high using parkour and you're going to be a player that most people are not going to want to engage against. The next trick is something that's not completely essential to utilise in the current early release stage of the game but more and more players are beginning to realise that there is in fact this stuff called electric smoke which does kill you if you are a rodeo pilot on an enemy titan so when they see the smoke they're going to be jumping off. As a titan pilot you need to be able to prevent enemy rodeo pilots from actually getting off of your titan if you want to get the kill and this here is how you do it. What you want to do is, as soon as you hear the footsteps of an enemy rodeo pilot on your Titan, you pretty much want to make a dash for the nearest wall or building with a roof over it and put your back against the wall, pop your smoke, and this way the pilot is in fact trapped against the wall so they can't always get off of your Titan. You might see that their name disappears and it seems like they've managed to get off your Titan, but in fact they're stuck behind your Titan between you and the wall and so the smoke is still affecting them and they will die. I haven't got this working 100% of the time yet, I think it works best on angled sort of walls and walls with roofs over the top as well. Sometimes you see here the pilot did manage to escape but if you can just make a quick dash for it, run him over, punch him or shoot him out of the air and it should be all good. One of the main features of Titanfall is the parkour. You gain momentum from wall running as a pilot, allowing you to increase your speed to insane levels. What you don't want to happen is to lose all this gain speed to a ledge grab, so what you want to do is avoid ledge grabs as often as you possibly can. Although the ledge grabs in Titanfall are less sluggish than those in other FPS games out there, it's still an animation which you are trapped in and it leaves you very vulnerable to attacks from really anyone who can shoot in a straight line. These clips here are showing you the best way to go about avoiding ledge grabs. Just tap your ass against the wall and then double jump onto any roof that you're trying to get to rather than ledge grabbing and you'll feel like you're having a much better flow of movement. You'll see in this clip here that by avoiding ledge grabs I'm able to change my position to react to any sort of situation if someone was shoot me in the back. If I'd been in a ledge grab animation there I probably would have died. So the final trick for this video is pretty cool. I like to call it throwing rockets. What it involves is basically throwing your rockets into the sky before they hit your enemy target. So what you want to do is lock on your rockets, quickly look into the sky, let go of your trigger. This will fire the rockets up into the air and then they will come down and hit your target. So why you want to use this is basically so that your rockets don't explode on any sort of object that might be in the way. For example, in this fight here, you can see the friendly Titan of mine is at the front and I don't want my rockets to accidentally bump off of him. So I fire them up into the guy, they dodge my friendly titan and they hit the target as planned and he goes down pretty quickly in that 2v1 there. This little trick is very useful for avoiding enemy particle walls as well as dome shields and it lets you duck under cover faster 
after firing your lock-on rockets, as well as catching titans which have just gone undercover. The only time you can't use this is when either you or the enemy titan is underneath the roof, but it works really well in all the wide open areas on the maps, as well as maps which have lots of tight corners. So that's the last trick for you guys. Thanks very much for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video, I hope you learned some things as well. Please subscribe to my channel, make sure you stay up to date with all the latest Titanfall content there, and I shall see you guys in my next video. Thanks again, bye bye.